friends welcome to my channel today in this video we are going to make this daisy square pattern in which we have made a flower and use it as an applique on the square that we have made this square can be used for making baby blankets blankets for cushion cover for pot holder for table mats table cover and so forth and so on so we are going to begin now things that we require for the project are yarn of two color the choice of color depends on you a pair of scissors and a hook that could match to the thickness of the yarn so let's begin first we are going to make the daisy flower so take the tail of the yarn make a loop insert the hook and pull through to make a slip knot now wrap the yarn on the hook pull through pull through pull through and pull through these are four chains we have to go back to the first one, insert the hook in, pull through, there are two loops on the hook, pull through two. Foundation ring is ready. Now, chain one and into the ring, insert the hook in, pull through, pull through two to make a single crochet. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now insert the hook into the fourth stitch. Pull through. Pull through two. And now this ring is ready. We have to make chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now chain 1, 2, 3 which counts as a double crochet. Now we have to skip 1, 2, 3 chains into the next one. Wrap the yarn on the hook. Insert the hook into the 4th chain. Pull through 2, pull through 2 to make double crochet. Into the next stitch. Insert the hook in. Pull through 2, pull through 2. Wrap the yarn on the hook. Insert the hook into the next chain. Pull through 2, pull through 2. And wrap the yarn on the hook insert the hook into the next chain pull through pull through two now wrap the yarn on the hook into the next chain pull through pull through all the three to make half double crochet wrap the yarn on the hook insert the hook into the next chain pull through all the three wrap the yarn on the hook insert the hook into the next chain pull through pull through all the three wrap the yarn on the hook insert the hook into the next chain pull through pull through all the three now into the next stitch we have to join these stitches with a slip stitch now we have to go to the next stitch with a slip stitch and again we have to make a petal so one two three four five six seven and eight these are eight chains we have to make three more one two three which counts as a double crochet now skip three chains into the next one Wrap the yarn on the hook, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, wrap the yarn on the hook, insert the hook into the next chain, pull through two, pull through two, wrap the yarn on the hook, insert the hook into the next chain, pull through two, pull through two, wrap the yarn on the hook, insert the hook into the next chain, pull through two, pull through two. Now these are four double crochet, now we have to make four half double crochet. So wrap the yarn on the hook, pull through all the three to make half double crochet. Into the next stitch, second half double crochet. Into the next stitch, third half double crochet. And into the next stitch, fourth half double crochet. Now into the next stitch, join this petal with a slip stitch. Make four more petals to complete this flower. 
when these six petals are complete we have to come to the fourth stitch of the fourth petal with a slip stitch now in all the stitches of all the petals we have to make single crochet to give a final touch to the flower so we have to make single crochet into all the stitches of all the petals of the flower so complete the round by making single crochet in all the stitches of the flower and we'll meet again when we have completed making single crochet in all the stitches of all the petals of this flower when the round is complete the flower would appear like this do not cut the yarn from here because we have to stitch the flower on the square with this yarn so now keep the flower aside and we are going to make the square for the pattern take the tail of the yarn of color b make a loop insert the hook and pull through to make a slip knot now wrap the yarn on the hook pull through pull through pull through pull through we have to make 25 chains so make 25 chains and we'll meet again when these chains would be completed now these 25 chains are complete we have to make two more chains now skip one two three chains because this will count as a double crochet and now wrap the yarn on the hook insert the hook into the next chain pull through pull through two pull through two wrap the yarn on the hook pull through pull through two so we have to make 24 double crochet into all the stitches across the row so complete the row by making 24 stitches and we'll meet again when these stitches across the row would be completed when the stitches across the row is complete we have to turn the pattern chain one two three which counts as a double crochet now on the top of each double crochet we have to make one double crochet so keep on repeating making double crochet on all the stitches and we have to complete 10 more rows following the same pattern and at the end of the square there should be 11 rows for the square so complete 11 rows and we'll meet again when this square would be completed so now we have completed 11 rows 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and now we have to cut the yarn from here because this square is now complete and we have to stitch this flower on the top of the square to complete the pattern so take the needle and take the yarn from here and stitch the flower on the top of the square now these daisy square patterns are complete which can be used for making baby blankets blankets and you can use them as a pot holder table cover table mats and more thank you so much